here. Looks like a good spot. Uh, go for it. Action, Phil. <clears throat> I can't read my script at all. Hey, guys. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I got distracted. <laughs> all right. uh, go a little bit faster. I got a break. So. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to. That's pretty good, guys. Now, obviously, being able to race bikes doesn't qualify us to act. <sighs> Welcome to Prem Show, episode two. So last week, a lot to get to. It was episode one, you know? But this week, pull us up tight, more chill, no scripts, right? Exactly. Yeah. We're supposed to say, what's my, what am I supposed to say next? Crap. Oh, my goodness. No, I'm just kidding. We got this. That was a joke. Wait, that was totally what's a joke. This? Script? No, that that was my taxes. <laughs> my bad. I guess it is tax season. We're gonna be here every Wednesday, like a variety show with a bunch of different new things. Correspondence, celebrity guests, and maybe even you. You could be on the show. Yes, you, Steve in Indiana. I think there's a guy in Indiana named Steve who's watching. I just completely freaked out at that. If you know a Steve, just like an Indiana, like send him a link to this and let him, and don't, don't spoil it. We're gonna start with a news segment. Uh, for that, we've got a correspondent in DC named Adam Pulford. Uh, Adam, what's happening today in, in DC? We're talking about the, the Biden stimulus or some kind of Senate hearings. What's going on there? So what's going on here in DC? Not much, just hanging out. We uh, just finished a group ride, hitting the cool down lap, riding with the Potomac, some geese over there. That's about it. Oh, good. I thought we were gonna talk about politics. There's no room for that on this show. You guys were all about to turn it off, weren't you? And now here's a fun segment called Meme of the Week. Hello and welcome to the weekly Thrill Meme Review. I am your host, Thrill of Thrill House Cycling, and I am here to talk to you about the best cycling memes of the past week. First off, please do give me a follow over on Instagram at Thrill House Cycling. You can see memes like this there. Uh, okay, let's take a look at what the best memes of the week were. So first up, we're gonna be looking at this gem from High Impact Cycling. All right, we have an excellent Chris Froome disc brake road bike and Seinfeld mashup here. So first things first, what is the root meme here? This is what is known as the Costanza.jpg meme. It is a reaction meme whenever somebody says something dumb or whatever else, you post this picture of George's face. George Costanza, of course, from the hit 1990 show um, Seinfeld. This is from the episode The Abstinence. So how is High Impact using this here? What is this about? Well, as you probably know, and if you don't know, here's the deal. Chris Froome went on a, I'm not gonna call it a rant, Chris Froome went on a civilized diatribe against, uh, you, know, you know, the annoyances of disc brakes on road bikes recently. And in his mind, they're not quite there yet. They overheat, they rub too often, the tolerances are too low. So why is this a good meme? Well, for one, I love the implication that Chris Froome, one of the most decorated cyclists of our time, is still taking his bike to a local shop just down the road and they're still doing a bad job on it. <laughs> Next up, this absolute gem from Burrito Cyclist and we have a Lord of the Rings cycling mashup. So of course, this scene is Bilbo Baggins from the Fellowship of the Ring where he has his, you know, his, his ring in his finger there and he has uh, attempted to keep it instead of giving it to Gandalf who will give it to Harry Potter who will give it to Luke Skywalker to throw into the Death Star or whatever happens in the movie. Um, okay, so what's going on here? in the context of cycling and this Allen wrench. So if you lend something to another cyclist on a group ride and they put that thing in their jersey pocket, you will never see that thing again. And that is what Burrito Cyclist is hinting at in his caption here. It doesn't matter what it is. It can be your wallet. It could be a mini pump. It could be a ring. It could be your firstborn child. Like that, those jersey pockets might as well be, you know, a gateway to an alternate dimension. Anything that goes in there, you will never see again. This pump, for example, I borrowed from a friend eight years ago. Um, I see them all the time, but that's the code. I'm not gonna give it back because he let it get into my rear pocket. It's his own fault. Okay, and for our last meme of the day, we have this gem from Official Cycling, a juggernaut in the meme realm. Uh, and again, we are back to Chris Froome and Robike disc brakes. Uh, this is using the they don't know how much X 
meme format. Uh, basically how this works, you have somebody in the corner with the party hat on who is alone and sad, and they have an opinion or an achievement that is just nobody cares about in the room. The party rages on. So why do I like this meme? Well, I love the idea that Chris Froome is just a fellow rim break opinionated weirdo like the rest of us or many of us myself included that's funny but more more to the point i i share this i feel this i have made many a meme um you know rallying uselessly against the evils of disc breaks uh so i feel this one i feel it deep in my bones and i have to give big credit to it for that official cycling give them a follow i'm sure you're already following them they have the word official in their title Okay, on to a runner-up for this week from BCA Memes Official, a new new player in the space who's making some very good memes. Uh, this is in reference to a recent trailer for King Kong versus Godzilla. So what's happening here? We have a doctor in a Pinarello battling it out with a dentist on the next work, probably in a Cat 4 race somewhere. Uh, and yeah, if you've ever raced in a Cat 4 race or you've been racing at all, you know what's happening here. Doesn't matter how, how how nice of a bike that doctor or dentist is on, a junior on a CAD 10 with rim brakes is gonna shred them to bits. That CAD 10 is gonna be horribly maintained, it's gonna be dented, and that junior is gonna be have about like a five watts per kilo F FTP and they're just gonna chase him off. And that's what's happening here. But uh, quality stuff from VCA Memes Official here. You know, a promising newcomer to the scene. Okay, that is it for the week, folks. Um, do vote. I don't know how to vote, but there'll be some kind of poll somewhere. Um, check out Phil Gun Phil's Instagram or mine or maybe in the comments below and that winner will receive absolutely nothing um, because I have nothing to offer but you know what we're bike racers we're used to winning and then receiving nothing anyway so whatever maybe I'll give them this pump I'll send them this stolen pump okay you know what that's it for the week I am thrill of thrill house cycling please give me a follow and I will see you next week all right thanks thrill house next up we have the viewer photo of the week so Phil what submissions do we have well, to be considered for the photo of the week, you've got to go on Instagram and use the hashtag PreemTV photo of the week. Uh, but we haven't talked about that. So we don't have any submissions. Um, Want to just go through our phones and, and pick a picture to one of us gets to win this week? How about rock, paper, scissors? No, rock, paper, scissors is a bad idea. The other day, I I got a paper cut. I've, been, I've lost more blood to paper than rock or scissors. <laughs> so we're not doing that. I got a better idea. Here, I'm going to take a picture of you. And then I win, and you also win because you're in it. Ta-da! No, folks, seriously, please submit a photo because having Phil take photos of me is going to get really old quick. It could be anything. Oceans, mountains, bike photos. Submit them. So what I think we're going to do every week is have a guest interview, uh, a celebrity, a pro cyclist, whatever. Um, no offense, you. it was supposed to be Lex in this chair. Like, I'm totally glad you're here. It was supposed to be Lex here this week. Uh, but she's still in Canada sorting out her visa. She had to do a hotel quarantine. Um, so I thought it'd be a good chance to get to know Lex a little better. So I checked in on her in the hotel room. So she's gonna be our guest interview for this week is, uh, is me checking on Lex, seeing how she's doing in her, in her quarantine. All right, hey Lex. Hey Phil. Right, have you just been sitting on the Zoom call waiting for, yeah, <laughs> a little bored I mean there? There's not much else to do. I've been stuck in here for like the last three days. So what are you doing for, are you doing like box jumps on your, on your bed or how are you getting well, actually, your, your yeah. We did the but bicycle I mean, kicks. Oh yeah. You're, you got an ab roller. I got my ab roller. I got the, I got a foam roller jump rope, but I mean, there are only like so many like sit-ups and push-ups and hotel exercises you can do. Like seriously, my core yeah, I can do about five push-ups. <laughs> <laughs> the, looks like a nice hotel room though. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad, but I mean, it's starting to get a little bit small. Like, here, what else can yeah. I show you in here? I got my, I have my coffee set up. That's good. Yeah, you would. That was the first thing you did. Yeah. Okay. And uh, well, that's about it. Like, folks will find out Lex is a coffee connoisseur. The obviously you're not able to do laundry. It looks like your shirt's inside out. That's the same shirt you wore on the Zoom call the other day. Oh, oh yeah. That's a bit embarrassing, but you know, like, I feel like it's a little bit cleaner now that I'm like wearing it on the clean side. No, that's, that's very college student. You wear the, if you wear the shirt inside out one day and then backwards the other day, you basically can have three shirts in one. I still have um, my pants on the right way though. So that's, yeah, there you go. that's the most important. Do you, does your room have a view at least? Well, it's got a view of, um, a beautiful parking lot. Let me show you this. I love parking lots. Oh, that's gorgeous. I know, huh? 
And That's yesterday, actually, I woke up to the sound of snow plows um, clearing the snow from the parking lot. So okay. that was a nice. It I miss like, well, I'm not going to say it looks like a nice day out. It, it looks horrible out there, and you're glad that you can't experience it. Yeah. I'm glad that I can't experience the sun. It's probably better for my skin to stay in here, right? There's always a bright side. <laughs> I like the decor on the walls. It looks like some uh, some dinner plates. Yes, actually, they look like salad bowls to me. If you yeah, because they're actually pretty big. So they're actually Lex's salad bowls that she had to the room and she just threw at the wall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm dreaming of being able to like cook and prepare my own meals again. So this is like my inspiration for when I get liberated from this room. <laughs> The, they're horribly asymmetric. That would that just right there would torture me. Maybe we can fix this. Maybe that could be my project for the day. Redecorate I was kind of the thinking room. that, like, of of all of the people, like, I'm sure there's thousands of people who are crapped in hotel rooms in in this quarantine thing. I wonder, like, how many people you know redecorated or or just what weirdness took place. Your, yours seems to be pretty civil. So this is actually a really cool part of the hotel room. This is like this big bench. That I've been using bench chunks. I'm picturing this as like Shawshank Redemption, where when she slides open the bench, there's like a like she's scraped, she's like chiseled a hole in the wall to to squirm out. Um, oh, this could be like an escape tool. Is yeah, that what so you're that's saying? that's where I thought you were going. Because like when I move this bench aside, I've been digging a <laughs> hole for the last two days uh, with the with this pen. Um, and, and slowly, slowly Lex, Lex escapes from this hotel. <laughs> well, thanks for calling me. Thanks for keeping me company because <laughs> it's not easy, man. Yeah, I believe it. There's, uh, I'm sure you're, you're calling everyone you know to, to kill the time. Um, and, and at the end of this, you'll have like an eight pack. Um, all, all that's going to be good. Watch out, man. My core stability is going to be next level. This is right. good for climbing. Like for once I get to the canyons in California. You're all set. Is it, did the hotel have a bathroom? Does it have a bathroom? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's critical. Okay. All right. That's that that that'll go a long way. That's the first thing I checked. That's what I do. First thing I know is there is there a bathroom? Okay, I can stay. It was actually, you know, here the bathroom is actually black though, and it was in like a dark cupboard when I got in the hotel room. Mm -hmm. So when I first opened the cupboard, I didn't see it, and I was just like, panic. "Are you kidding me? No bathrobe? Oh!" I started bringing my own bathrobe to hotels, especially I've had a three day. I would I would travel with a bathrobe, but you but you still want the big thick cushy one because I'll take a pack of suitcase if it's a good one. Yeah, what man a bathrobe that takes up a lot of suitcase real estate. Yeah, it's important. No, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Um. All right. <laughs> well, uh, enjoy enjoy your last time there, and uh, mm -hmm. and and we'll see you soon. At the only actually the only place, honestly, I'm just gonna say LAX is the worst place in North America. So don't. Don't judge Los Angeles by that airport. Um, okay. It'll it'll get a lot better once you get through there. These are pretty bad airports in my life, so yeah, I'll okay. be ready for it. <laughs> we'll hear your reviews. Um, <laughs> all right. Thanks, Lex. Thanks, Phil. Talk to you soon. See ya. Enjoy your freedom. <laughs> and now it's time for our Stig segment. Now, we don't have any products for the Stig to test this week, but because we want this to be as scientific as possible, we're going to do a control Stig climb. So Stig, go ahead and go down and go back up at exactly 250 watts. I think the snake can do 300. Well, you want to do 300? What do you think? He thinks he's got it. All right, good for you, Stig. Stig's been working out. Come on, Stig! Yeah! yeah! All right, thanks, Stig. Nice job. All right, use the hashtag creamstig on Instagram to let us know what the stig should try out next. The, uh, if you don't come up with anything I like, we'll just think of something sinister for him to do. Um, what's next? Well, we're gonna have member ride of the week. Oh, yeah. um, you're gonna be featured. And if you go to Strava and join our club, you have the opportunity to be featured. But since we just got started, I guess, Stig wins by default. There's nobody else in the Strava Club, so Stig gets it this week. Congratulations, Stig, again. Stig's having a fantastic week. This guy's amazing. Look at that, the smile on Stig's face. Stig's never been so happy. That's a beautiful thing. <laughs> anyway, we're going to end this with, uh, with a moment of Euro goodness from Mike Cotty. So uh, stay tuned for that. We'll see you next time. You're enjoying the views of Monte Grappa, not far from Venice or Treviso in Italy. 
Next up on Prem TV is Allison Tetrick's first in the field segment. See you then.